Hello, I am Father Simon Peter Wancha, parochial vicar at St. Maximilian Kolbe Church. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Amen. In today's 1% challenge, we are going to briefly reflect on the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 1 to 6. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sh the sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice as he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. Have you ever been turned away when you knocked at someone's door? Have you ever been embarrassed when you thought a stranger was calling you? The GPS is such a wonderful innovation. I just don't understand how many people would be getting lost every day after taking a wrong road. It is quite easy to maneuver ways when using the GPS. Even if you took a wrong road, it will tell you. There are so many roads around, but not all will take you quickly to where you want to go. Jesus is our GPS to eternal life. Jesus is, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the shepherd who, who will lead us safely to, to heaven. Jesus is the one who hears us knocking at the door and opens for us to enter and leads us to the Father. Let us follow him alone and be careful about some people who may want to lead us astray. If you enjoyed today's 1% challenge, be sure to like and share this video so that we can spread the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ with more souls. Thank you all for joining me, and may God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.